What's up, homies and broskies alike? It is Britty J here, bringing you guys another commentary. Now, um, today I want to discuss something that's a little more serious. Um, now, I want to discuss it, bullying. Um, back in junior high, I was really, really tight with this one guy. Uh, we really we called each other, you know, like he's my best friend, I'm his best friend. Uh, we'd hang out all the time. It was it was awesome. Um, and so I was in grade eight when uh, I met this kid, and we were really, really close for a really long time. He actually introduced me to Call of Duty. Like he was the first one to uh, to bring me into video gaming that wasn't, you know, like GameCube, Super Smash Bros. Um, so yeah, like I, I meet him in grade eight. He introduced me to Call of Duty. He got me um, Red Dead Redemption and that kind of stuff. And so. We really bonded when it came to video games, and then um, you know we were really good friends for like all of uh, all of the eighth grade, and then for the majority of the ninth grade, and then about midway through the ninth grade, I want to say it was uh, about February or so, uh, we we didn't have any sort of falling out or anything, but there was one day where I I walked into the change room in our gym. And the change room had a little bit of a, like, you open the door and there's just a wall there and you had to turn left and then turn right to turn it to get into the change room. And so I open the door and I hear uh, him talking. I hear him saying, like, oh, yeah, and he showed me this video this morning. Oh, my God, it was so fucking unfunny and he's such a fucking faggot, blah, 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 blah. And I walk in and I, I see who he is and who he's talking to. And it was, he was talking to, like, the more popular kids of our school. And, I mean... It was a French junior high school, so there were really no cool kids there. Um, but yeah, he was he was just kind of ranting about me, and so I just casually walked in and pretended that I didn't hear because, I mean, it would have been way more awkward if I had just run out crying or something. And so, yeah, I, like I just kind of, I just kind of went up and I was like, "Oh, hey man, like how's it going?" And uh, you could tell he was kind of panicked thinking that I had heard, but yeah, well, either way, I mean, it really fucked me up for, for a decent amount of time. Like, for the rest of the ninth grade, I didn't really have too many friends. And then, um, he started dating my ex-girlfriend, which, I mean, it was junior high, so it, in the long run, none of this matters, but it seemed like the biggest deal in the world because he always talked shit about her when I was dating her. He always said, like, oh, you don't need her, but, you know, he started dating her, and then, then one day I uh, I was talking to her and we, her and I were still close like we were still friendly and I was talking to her and I asked if she wanted to go like on a walk because I hadn't spoken to her in a little while and I wanted to catch up and then I got a really angry text from him saying you better back the fuck off her um, so yeah like I was just he he just kind of abandoned me and then and then he started trashing me for almost no reason. And I mean, I was a different person back then, but it, it really sucked because it pushed me away from people. It, it kind of, yeah, it pushed me away from all my friends at the time because he was also friends with them, so they kind of picked his side. And then uh, it, it, was, it wasn't until high school that I really had a solid group of friends again. Um, and actually, funny story, in, when I got to high school, um, I didn't speak to him, but he started dating one of my good friends, like one of my best friends. Uh, he started dating her, and I mean, I warned her right away, and he ended up, they ended up breaking up for whatever reason, and she came to me and she was like, well, you, you're right, he's kind of a douchebag. And then, fast forward to two years later, I was at a music festival in between uh, grades 11 and 12, and this music festival had two separate sections, right? So there was, there was a crowd on the left side of the stage and the crowd on the right side of the stage, with um, kind of a like a track in between it just so the reporters and uh, photographers could get through and get you know the pictures of the bands that they needed and I was in one mosh pit at on the right side of the stage and I look over to the left mosh pit and who do I see it's uh it's best friend or former best friend and he kind of he kind of acknowledges me, I give him a little wave, because, I mean, it's been three years since this has happened, I I can't really be bothered to care anymore. He he actually tweeted me his phone number, and so I 
I, you know, get the phone number. I was like, hey man, how's it going? And he just sent me about a paragraph long, like in the middle of this music festival, he just sent me this entire text about, yeah, he said, um, hey man, I'm really sorry for the way I treated you back in junior high. I mean, we both made some mistakes, but I was a royal douche to you, and I am so sorry for that. And that was probably one of my more relieving experiences. It felt nice to know that I wasn't the one who was kind of overreacting in this situation, that you know, he acknowledges that he was, he was in the wrong for pretty much just bullying me into submission uh, for so long. Like, I mean, six months is a long time time especially when you go that long without talking to anyone else so it was it was really nice and uh you know i'm sad that our friendship hasn't really stayed there but for the most part i feel like i i feel like i kind of ended up ahead you know like seeing him now he's he's in a really good place in his life he's been in a relationship for like 10 no like a year and a half now i think and i i I can't be more proud of him, you know, like, it's it's just impressive to see, like, people growing up after that long, and I harbor exactly zero harsh feelings towards him, and I hope he's the same way. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any sort of bullying stories that you want to talk about, feel free to just shoot me a message, I'm always open to talk, you know, bullying is never any fun for, well, I mean, as someone who's experienced it firsthand. It's never fun, so yeah, guys, if you could, just give this video a like, favorite, subscribe, you know what to do. Um, so yeah, thanks guys. Peace out.